have an interesting comment here from One Sunday News stating, Propaganda techniques. Brother Taz Russell's father was well off and so he used these riches to start up the truth of our father Jehovah. Out of his heart, not out of going to make more money like the rest of this world and those buildings in Brooklyn were old factories for money makers transformed into a Bible making blockbusters distributing Bibles of most languages and Bible based ma magazines and is disrebooted worldwide and man delivered with a smile take it or leave it thank you one Sunday news um, there's one little problem there's no mention of William Henry Conley in your statement you see William Henry Conley was a person who was mentioned here I'll show you in the Jehovah's Witnesses proclaimers of God's kingdom publication on page 576 where it states this work quickly took on immense proportions. In order to handle it, Zion's Watchtower Tract Society was formed on February 16, 1881 with W.H. Conley as president and C.T. Russell as secretary and treasurer. So there we see in the Watchtower Society publication the name William Henry Conley as the first president, although you are told repetitiously that the first president was Charles Taz Russell. And you believe that. So... I did a little more searching on William Henry Conley just recently just to show you some more information about him and I went to the wiki site on him by googling William Henry Conley and notice what it says here in this word document where I copied it over to it says in 1894 Russell introduced a letter from Conley as written by a member of the early Allegheny Bible class rather than the society's first president Following Conley's death in July 1897, Zion's Watchtower provided no obituary nor any statement of Conley's involvement with the society. And that source, that number 14, goes to Zion's Watchtower, The Voice of the Church, July 1894, page 175. So you can Google William Henry Conley and read this for yourself. But something I wanted you to notice in this one Sunday news is that apparently Russell hid the fact that there was another first president and made no mention of when Conley died and his involvement with the society was basically buried up until it showed up in the Watchtower Society publication Proclaimers of God's Kingdom so what you could do is you can ask the Watchtower Society or your elders why the Watchtower Society went to the trouble of hiding this steel tycoon's involvement with the early development of the original Watchtower Society. And another thing you may want to do is watch my video on the Watchtower Society's involvement with hedge funds. It's called Don't Cry for the Watchtower Society Hedge Fund Gambling. And if you Google that, you'll bring up my video and you'll see that what you mentioned about how Russell wasn't going after riches you'll notice that the Watchtower Society is also invested in hedge funds or at least showing an interest in investing in hedge funds which raises the question would Jesus invest in this wicked system today in order to get rich that's something you may want to look into one Sunday news ciao